Hello viewers, in this video we will discuss about the Thermit Welding Technology. Thermit Welding Thermit Welding is a process in which heat for coalescence is produced by superheated molten metal from the chemical reaction of thermite. Thermite is a mixture of aluminium and iron oxide fine powders that produce an exothermic reaction when ignited. Also used for incendiary bombs. Filler metal obtained from liquid metal. Process used for joining but has more common with casting than welding. Principle of operation. In thermit welding, the heat is produced by highly exothermic reactions between metal oxides, usually iron oxides and a metal reducing agent, usually aluminium but magnesium. The chemical affinity of aluminium for oxygen is the basis for the thermit process. Some of these reactions are equation 1 iron oxide plus 2 parts of aluminium gives 2 parts of iron plus aluminium oxide plus 181.5 kilocalories then equation 2 iron oxide plus 8 parts of aluminium equals 9 parts of iron plus 4 parts of aluminium oxide plus 719.3 kilocalories of energy these reactions produces temperature up to 3000 degrees celsius the volume of molten metal is also produced by the chemical reactions involved now this molten metal is used to weld the joint inside a mold for maximum efficiency the magnetite thermite mixture should contain 23.7 percent aluminium and 76.3 percent iron oxide mass percent the graph shows the energy which is released in the thermit welding operation thermit welding mixtures thermit mixtures most commonly used for the welding of ferrous materials are plain thermit mixture of iron oxide and finely divided aluminium it produces highest temperature for thermit welding mild thermits thermit plain thermit with the addition of mild steel punchings to increase the metal products Carbon and manganese, manganese are also added to balance reactions. Thermit for welding rails. Plain thermit with the addition of carbon and manganese to increase hardness of rail joints. Methods of thermit welding. The heat of thermit welding may be utilized in two ways. Fusion welding. It may be heat and fuse the metal parts. Thermit mixture acts as a filler metal also. Pressure welding. It may heat the metal parts and raise them to forging temperature and then forging forces apply to join them. Thermit reaction. Procedure of thermit welding. Various steps involved in fusion thermit welding of metal parts are cleaning the joint. Joints to be welded should be cleaned and free from dust, grease, loose oxides, etc. before welding. Allow for contraction. A space of 1.5 to 6 mm is given between insert contraction allowance. Construction of mold. A mold is the part in which the metal parts to be joined lies and molten metal is poured in it. It is 100 mm thick between packs pattern and molding box and should provide necessary pouring gates, heating gates and riser. Preheating the mold. Mold is preheated to remove wax pattern dry the mold thoroughly and to bring the parts to be welded at desired temperature that is 816 degrees celsius to 982 degrees celsius crucible and its charging crucible is a conical shaped vessel it is filled with required amount of thermite mixture to join the metal parts igniting the thermite mixture ignition of thermite mixture last up to 60 seconds only after the ignition is completed crucible is tapped to release molten metal mold where fusion takes place opening the mold mold is opened after two to four hours the longer the mold is left unopened the better it is finishing the weld after removing the mold riser and gate are cut away from by cutting torch and joint is prepared. This is the process showing the thermit welding process having torch, 
மோல்ட் ஜாப் ரைசர் க்ரூஸு அண்ட் ரன்னர் திஸ் தி தேர்மிட் வெல்டிங் ஆப்ரேஷன் ஷோயிங் பிக்சர் தேர்மிட் வெல்டிங் இன் ரயில் ரோட்ஸ் The railway lines are joined by use of thermite welding. Problems with thermite welds. The weld can be porous resulting in weaker welds than traditional welding as seen here. The blue line shows shielded metal arc welding. Red line shows MIG welding. Green line shows TIG welding. And purple line shows the thermite which is at the end. bottom advantages it is a very portable process no external power supply required it is a very cheap process for repairing broken parts of large metal structures such as rail lines large parts of ships on site welding can be done for railways limitations can only be used for ferrous metals it is uneconomical when used for welding cheap metals or light parts thermite mixtures cannot be stored due to safety hazards and should be used as soon as prepared thermite applications repairing fractured rails for butt welding pipes end to end for welding large fractured crankshafts for welding broken frames of machines welding of sections of castings where size prevents their being cast as one piece replacing broken pieces or large gears end welding of reinforcing bars used in huge concrete constructions military applications thermite th3 is a mixture of thermite and py- pyrotechnic additives for incri- incendiary purposes its composition by weight is generally thermite 68.7% bano3 twice 29.0% sulfur 2.0% and binder 0.3% BaNO3 twice increases its thermal effect creates flame in burning and significantly reduces the ignition temperature a mess process an adaptation of the thermite reaction for obtaining pure uranium as part of the Manhattan project at Ames laboratory hazards thermite's usage is hazardous due to external high temperatures produced and the extreme difficulty in smoothing a reaction once initiated a thermite reaction releases dangerous ultraviolet light mixing water with thermite or pouring water onto burning thermite can cause a steam explosion spraying hot fragments in all directions this is the image showing the thermite welding operation done on a railway track so Thank you for watching. If you like this video, put a thumbs up and also subscribe, like, share your chat to your friends and post your valuable comment. Thank you.